my friends. Uh, I'm here doing a review on the Saker chainsaw. I have received this for free or for a review. So I'm gonna give it a try and uh, give you the honest opinion. So I'm gonna open this up. So this comes in a box like this. This one is sold on Amazon for uh, $68, like 30 cents or something. And they have they have the same thing, I believe, in a different case for about $83. And that one uh, comes with additional two chains. This one comes with one chain already pre-installed. So Chain guard also has knuckle guard. If you're cutting, nothing can uh, push on your on your hand to push the trigger. So that's kind of nice, and I like that it's flexible. It has a safety button right here that you have to push before you push the trigger. Uh, so this is more of a right-handed saw. I suppose you can use it with the left hand as well. Just gotta get used to it. If you're right-handed. It's really easy. I guess if you're left-handed, you're probably used to this. Um, so this is, I would assume, four inches or so. Uh, chain is tight. There is a wrench for tightening and loosening, removing the chain. So uh, chain tightening tool or remover chain bar remover let's see uh, let's put everything out with the saw screwdriver uh, let's see what is it for <clears throat> anything Phillips I guess what's Phillips out here gotta read instructions Screwdriver. I'm just doing what normal people do. Taking it out. A battery. This one comes with one battery. So, 120 volt battery. Uh, one and a half amp, amp hour. Uh, some oil for the chain and the instructions. And that's it. This is a charger, uh, 21 volt, 0.75 amp charger, amp power charger, and the plug is in, I believe, here like this, so it doesn't slide into a charger, but plugs in the wall, right there. Let's see if there's any. So it works right out of the box. So here's what we got in the box. The tool itself, the saw, very comfortable. I like the, the rubber grips. The rubber texture right here is actually very comfortable and I like that it's uh, skinnier at the bottom, which kind of has your pinky grab pretty nice on there. Um, there's a little bit of oil spraying out. I guess it's pre-greased. Uh, some, yeah, some is right here. There's some oil on the battery. That's just spraying from the chain. I guess that's normal when you lube up the, the chain here. But yeah, just be careful. Just like any other chainsaw. Seems pretty solid for $63. Uh, so far, doesn't seem bad. I just don't know how long the batteries would charge, but, or last. Uh, I don't know if there's a battery light indicator uh, where it shows, nope, there's no place where it shows battery life. Uh, 
But other than that, it seems pretty, no different than any other tool, I would say. I mean, if you just, looks like a Makita. If you think about it from far away, you would just think it's a Makita tool. Um, it just, it feels normal. I don't see anything wrong with it at this point. I guess it's time to try it out, you know, in real life. All right, let's go outside and let's cut. Okay, I'm down here by my magnolia tree. It broke in the winter with the snow. I'm gonna get in here. There's a saker saw. There's a broken branch. And I'm gonna cut it off. I'm actually gonna cut just this one. So I'm gonna cut it higher here first and then I'll trim it back. So I'm going to hold it with my hand. And then I'll cut from the other side as well. Perfect. So, take one branch, and I'm gonna go back and trim this one. It's easy to get into. It's easy to get into uh, tight places. It's light, so I'm gonna trim this back. Perfect. So I'm gonna, for now, just leave this and clean it up. I'll maybe get rid of this branch in a little bit, but for now, this is a great tool. I like it. Well, hello. We're outside, uh, down here by the trees, and this is the, once again, Saker chainsaw. It's 20 volt, 20 volt uh, battery, and comes with the chain, chain guard. Uh, trigger guard, finger guard, and the uh, tether right here. So this is $63 on Amazon. Uh, it has, it comes with one chain, one battery, one charger, uh, tool to remove the chain, and the chain uh, bar right here. And it comes with the oiler to oil the chain. So the chain right now is pre-oiled. Uh, come, it comes pre-oiled, and then you just have to check the tension. Gotta have at least about an eighth inch, a little bit of play. It can't be super tight because it will overheat. That's, I mean, that's typical for any chainsaw. So as far as quality, this thing is uh, pretty solid. I I don't see anything that I can complain about at this point. So <clears throat> let's go and put it for a test. Okay, so this is a old plum tree uh, that I'm regrafting. This. This tree was really badly damaged on top by elk, elk horns. It broke branches and, you know, so it has uh, some rot on some branches, you know, some fungal growth. So I'm going to cut it down lower and regraft it. So at this point, I have my feeder branches uh, that are supporting the tree so it doesn't die. And I'm gonna regraft kinda, you know, intermittently, do one at a time. Uh, but right now I'm gonna show you, you know, a few cuts that I can make on here. So let's go down to this branch. This is my first cut with this saw, so we'll uh, see how it does. This is, it says don't cut limbs more than four inch, you know, in diameter. So this one is right around that point. Uh, at this point, it's probably four inches. So let's give it a cut right here and see how it does. You can always circle around the tree to cut it, but Keep your downward pressure like this. And then this part right here is a good feature on the saw. Not all saws in this size come with this um, part right there. Some of them don't even have it. So this, when you start cutting, it, it spins in this direction right here. So like uh, it will pull you forward. And if, if you don't have this point to rest on, you would have to constantly hold it with your hand, which is okay, but you know, this is a nice feature. Okay, so we just made our one cut. Uh, we're gonna be doing a second cut. 
So actually come here. So the cut is pretty good. Uh, yeah, I like it. So let's do a second cut. So I'm gonna do it right below this. Watch your hand. If you're not comfortable, then just keep your hand away. There you go. It's a four inch piece of uh, plum tree. Look at it. You can make all sorts of things, even for crafts. Uh, this isn't just for gardeners. This is for anyone that needs to cut something. Uh, an awesome, awesome uh, saw to have around the house. You know, it may not be your commercial saw, but uh, it's great for small cuts. You know, yeah, I, I like it. I have nothing else you know, bad to say about it. It's pretty good. Let's make another cut. Yeah. So this is perfect. I like it. Makes really nice cuts, clean. You know, you can easily uh, you can easily graft to this. Just need to clean up, just like within you saw, but you have to just clean up the outside edge of this bark and the cambium layer so it grows nice. So it doesn't have any of these uh, little hairs, but this is normal from any saw, even a nice sharp hand saw. But this cut is very nice. I like it. So, Saker. Uh, chainsaw, thumbs up, I like it, $63 on Amazon. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, try cutting a larger diameter than what's recommended. He said don't cut larger than 4 inch, but we'll see if we can cut it uh, larger than 4. So this one's like a 6 inch diameter. Uh, I'm gonna cut it slightly higher because I still want to keep some of these branches as a uh, feeder branches when they regraft. Uh, so I'm gonna cut it right here on top. It's a bunch of knots, a bunch of uh, burly stuff, so it tends to be harder in this point. So I'm gonna cut it right there. position so this is the guard you know try to keep it in place but if you needed to move it away for a second to start your cut you can So, I zigzag the, the cut. You can, uh, you can cut things larger than four inches as long as you're going in circles, you know, going around. Uh, as long as the blade can cross over the center, you can cut twice the diameter or twice the length of this. So, I can anyway, but their, their recommendation is do not cut anything over four inches. So, but I did just for as an example. So if you want to clean up the cut, just put the saw in there. Clean it up. See, there you go. I mean, you can even carve with this thing.
So, yeah, I like the saw. Uh, I'm not wearing any glasses, not wearing any gloves, but you have to follow all the safety protocols. So, Saker uh, mini chainsaw gets a thumbs up for me. I like it. Uh, cuts down, you know, branches that are even larger than four inch recommended without an issue as long as you follow you know around this kind of circumference of the the tree or you know whatever you're cutting branch and they'll cut it through battery seems to last enough to do your small garden job I didn't run it down to where it you know it ran out of uh, juice but still cuts fine and I cut that that right there on the ground cut all those pieces I cut this big one uh, not an issue so for home use awesome uh, I like it if you like this video go and watch my other ones my name is John and I'll see you in the next video